we're challenged to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind, all of our strength. What is holding you back from loving the Lord and letting his love penetrate your heart? I was reminded in Sunday school this morning and in a Bible study that I'm working on yesterday about fear and how fear is that one thing that grips people. It stands as a barricade between us experiencing and knowing the love of Christ. And last night when I was studying, the question is, well, what are you afraid of? I can, I'm a paranoid person, guys. I could give you scenario upon scenario of how the devil will sneak into my mind and create fear. Whether it's about your family, about your ministry, about your work, about your circumstances, the devil is a sneaky, lying thief who will try and put fear in your heart. But what do we know from 1 John? Perfect love casts out fear. And where does that love come but from Christ? And as we pray today, as we think about the love of Christ casting out fear, I want you to know that Peter and I are praying for you that the fear in your life would be cast out. Yes, that you would have physical wholeness if you're struggling with illness. I think there's probably 30 people missing today because they're sick. I did not shake any hands last week, so it wasn't me. <laughs> it probably was me, but <laughs> we do struggle with the physical bondage of our bodies, but that spiritual bondage of fear is just as debilitating. And so my prayer for us this morning is that we would know the power of Christ of his love to cast out that fear. Psalm 34, 1 through 4 says this, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. That's a prayer and a promise I want for each of us today. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we love you and we pray that your presence would be in our hearts, that we would allow the fullness of your Holy Spirit to be working through us. So much so, Lord, that there would be no room for fear, that your love would bind it away. Father, for whatever my brothers and sisters are holding on to in their hearts, that, that deep fear, that burden, my prayer is, Lord, that your word would release them, would deliver them from their fears. Might we be like Paul and boldly, fearlessly proclaim your gospel because it is true and it is right. Lord, we pray that our hearts would be open for you to fill us up with your holiness. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters who are struggling, whether that's physically or emotionally or spiritually. We pray with urgency that you would act and will in their life in a way that would give you glory. Father, we love you, and this morning we give you praise. We give you all of the praise and all of the glory. In Jesus' name I pray.